Good afternoon YouTube, Scipio2 here again. Another short little video. Today we're going to be talking about this little deal right here. This is the Magpul Bad Lever. The Bad Lever is the battery assist device. It's basically a 7075 billet aluminum level 3 anodized hard coat piece of awesomeness for your AR. Uh, works on most ARs, all standard mil spec ARs, it's supposed to work on 100%. Um, some of the actual uh, billet lowers have larger flares and machining tolerances and so forth in spec, and it won't necessarily work on that. But uh, in my case, um, the lower I've got here is the Smith & Wesson Magpul uh, second generation AR and it is basically the lower is a clone of the china doll magpul lower but that's a whole nother story for another day and there was a problem as you can see here there's what they refer to as a finger shelf that most of your ars out there do not have the bad lever was hitting this when i first put it on and after about mm, a couple minutes of looking at i figured out how to get around that here's what i did notice this arc right here coming up and bam now admittedly this bad lever and should be all bad levers do have a small arc here and you might be looking at this going well that's not much of an arc at all and you're right it's not but there is some arc to it coming out of the package brand new what I did was I used a pair of pliers to grip on opposing sides of this bend point and flex it upwards some more which of course then led to the uh, finger bar pointing more outwards like that than need be. So then I took a pair of uh, pliers here and a pair of pliers here and effectively bent that in some so that once it's assembled, it fits properly. Now I'm not going to go into showing you a video on how all that's done. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think, for the most part. But um, just like this bad lever, it's kind of self-explanatory. But since I had it off when... Uh, doing these K&S pins and if you don't know what those are or haven't seen that video go check that out but anyway here's how the bad lever is assembled and what's in it and all that basically what this does is allows you to manipulate the bolt or commonly referred to as the ping pong paddle but the uh, bolt catch lever with your trigger finger there's three parts to it this piece right here I just talked about this is the aluminum back plate, which is molded to fit around standard ping pong paddles. This, that's another disclaimer. Bad lever may not work with some of the fancier um, paddles that are out there. The one that comes to mind off the top is, um, <laughs> I say it comes off the top of my head, but actually now that I say that, I can't even think of the name of that company. But anyway, you get the gist. Standard bolt catch lever. Shouldn't be a problem, assuming you don't have a wildly flared or out of mil spec lower. If you've got a standard mil spec lower, yeah, you're pretty much good to go. And then it comes with a single screw, which has the most ridiculous thing Magpul's ever done, a Torx T8 screw head. They do include a L-shaped Torx wrench for this, but I'll be using my standard handy dandy driver, but it's a T8. Here's how complicated this is. Take the back plate, sit it up here like so. See that there? I'm not trying to flip anybody the bird, but you see that there, right? Okay. Now you can do this with the uh, upper on there installed, but you'll find it's much easier to do it with the upper removed. Take the bar and it's pocketed to literally clamp over top of that. You line up your little bolt holes there. Take their little itty bitty screw which is thread locked. Oh! And then you drop it on camera. <laughs> Working around the legs of the camera I kind of had a boo boo. My bad. Anyway, let me get that in there. There we go. Once it's lined up, just start snugging up your screw. 
Now you want to make sure that you're holding this all together because you can, believe it or not, get it a little off kilter and it won't quite line up the way it should. And you don't need to over torque the crap out of this, but you want it good and tight. Uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. I'm not going to sit here and quote spec for pound inch and all that kind of thing. But anyway, that's it. It's installed and it now functions. What it has done is allow me to use my trigger finger to deactivate the ping pong paddle. If you can see the back there, see. All right. Bolt is cycling inside the upper here. Comes back. It catches. Chink. Empty mag. Drop the mag. Again with your trigger finger over here. Mag drops. Slap a new mag in. This dude is up here. You would simply just push on it right here. And boom, the bolt would come home, load your round, you're good to go. You haven't had to pull your hand off the forend or the mag well or anything like that. You've done it all right there. If you want to transversely catch the bolt and lock it into place, pull your charging handle back, lift up with your trigger finger. That in turn raises the bolt catch, catches your bolt. Bolt is now locked rearward. Um, simple easy you see i just installed it in a matter of minutes i've never had a problem with it i run these on all my ars it's a little different if you've been toying with ars for a long time and you switch to this it takes a little getting used to but once you've done it and you begin to get used to using it like me you will never ever want to go another way around guaranteed anyway that's all i've got for you today youtube Thanks for watching. As always, questions, comments, put them down below. God bless. Take care. I'm out.